Refer to the accompanying data set and use the 30 screw lengths to construct a frequency distribution. Begin with a lower class limit of 2.220 inches and use a class width of 0 .010 inches. The screws were labeled as having a length of 2 and 1 quarter inches. Does the frequency distribution appear to be consistent with the label why or why not? So we're supposed to construct a, a grouped frequency distribution that has a class width of 0 .010 inches starting with 2.20 inches. So the way we do that is we go to the next lower class limit and add the class width, which will be then 2.230. The next one will be 2.240. The next one will be 2.250 and then 2.260. I'm just adding 0.1 to each of these lower class limits to get the next one. Now let's look at the data values. The data values have three decimal place significance. So these class widths need to have three decimal place significance and e there has to be a class for each possible three decimal place number that could occur in this range from 2.20 to 2.260. So this class, upper class limit here, the first one, needs to be one thousandth less than the previous or the next lower class limit. So in other words, this needs to be 2.229. Then the next one will be 2.239, and then 2.249, and then 2.259, and then 2.269. So what we did was we subtracted 0.001 from 2.230 to get 2.229. And then we subtracted 0 0.001 from 2.240 to get 2.239. So what this does then is gives us a class for each three decimal place value between 2.220 and 2.269. Now we need to fill in this frequency column. Here are the data values. What we need to do is find out, well, how many are there between 2.220 and 2.229? Well, when they're all jumbled up and not in any kind of order, that's kind of difficult. So what we'll do is we'll click this little rectangle and open this data in StatCrunch. Now we see that we have them in this list here in variable 1 but they're not in any kind of order that's any good to us because they're all mixed up. But that's okay because StatCrunch does a very nice job of sorting data. We'll click Data and then Sort, Variable 1, Ascending, and hit Compute. Now a new column has been added that has them sorted from smallest to largest. So now all we need to do is just count how many there are in each one of these classes. The first class goes from 2.220 to 2.229. So we just need to count how many values are there in that range. We have 1, 2, 3. Now we need to count how many there are between 2.230 and 2.239. There's one, two, three, four, five. Now we need to count how many there are between 2.240 and 2.249. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, how many are there between 2.250 and 2.259? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
And now how many are there between 2.260 and 2.269? There are 1, 2, 3. Check the answer, and then move on to the next question. Continue. Does the frequency distribution appear to be consistent with the label? The label says that they are 2 and a quarter inches, or 2.25. Well, let's see where does 2.25 occur. It occurs right around these two classes here. And with those two classes there, we have 19 of the data values. We have the majority of the data values within that range right there. We don't expect all of the screws to have an exact length of two and a quarter inches. We expect there to be variation in the manufacturing process. But how varied is that process is the question. Well, the majority of the data values are within that, near that range of 2.25. So if we look at this last answer here, it says yes, because the frequencies are greatest in the classes closest to the labeled size. So we'll click that and check our answer.